I just let the DJ turn the music down slightly before I resume. Yes, Sebastian, he had an injury to the, uh, the pad of one of his fingers. I think it was his index finger. And uh, he's back safe and sound from that. Seems to be at full strength. Climbed really well in the qualifiers, really well in the semis. Looking really strong here in Kran. He made a clear decision not to go to the China leg of the World Cup this year as a way to rest and reset. And I think that was a good decision given his performance so far. Ah, we have a question about the next World Cup in Central Saanich. I would like that to be as soon as possible, but realistically, uh, what we are focusing on is hosting the World Youth Climbing Championships in 2018, and hopefully a series of World Cups before then. But thanks for the question. <laughs> a bit like yesterday when we had a question on Twitter, and someone said, I live in San Diego, will there be any World Cups near me? And I said, well, I hope so. I feel a bit like that with Central Saanich. One of the challenges for us is that we're in the process of a major expansion and that is taking up a lot of our volunteer time and we are a not-for-profit volunteer organization. Thanks for the question though, Tomek. Don't forget, hashtag I for CWC if you want to get in touch with us this evening. Sebastian, no issues so far. We spoke to Urban and he said that the moves are quite tenuous, quite technical, but Sebastian's looked solid at this stage. Should add though that so did Dimitri and Urban. It's clearly going off the, the lower section of the wall and onto the horizontal roof that's a problem. But he looks very certain in his movements. We saw him going through his rehearsal at the foot of the wall. Oh and wow. That was the move that Urban was struggling with. No such trouble for Sebastian. So that's an early lead for Sebastian able to rest on the hold that Dimitri couldn't hold. I, sh I should add that Dimitri went from a lot lower down. Yeah, his decision to skip China and train and recover from his finger injury looking very much vindicated at this early stage. So this is our first look. We're off the black holes and onto the yellow holes of the top section. When we saw Sebastian rehearsing the moves earlier on, you could see him, it looked like he was really miming this next move on the undercling. We'll see. But I was pretty sure if I was following his actions correctly. I'd say this is another section where there's a few variables that you can, I can see two different ways through. And he's obviously needs to make a quick decision and stick to it at this juncture once he's recovered. He also topped the route yesterday in the uh, semi-finals. So six men. So for Dimitri, for Kirinov onwards, all the men topped the, uh, the semi-final route. And here he is on the undercling. We saw him, I'm pretty sure I saw him rehearsing this, kind of pumping, ready for the next move. There we go. So he's now on to the second series of green volumes. A dozen or so green volumes that lead all the way to the top of this route. The crowd appreciate what they see. Looking really in control here, Sebastian. Looking like a man who's just had a good training block. He's back down a couple of moves just to recover. From here, there's not much resembling a rest for at least three or four moves, and even after that, it's it's only the poorest of rest. I think w uh, one would be well advised to push through to the end of the route from here, so it makes sense that he'd rest there. The only potential rest I think maybe is on the next yellow bolt and just at the top of your screen, but as I say, the, the, feet, are, ah, the feet are poor, it's not a great position. And that's about as dynamic as, as b -lays get. Sebastian touched the ground there. He looks pretty happy with that performance back in the World Cups, back in finals. And hopefully no blood on his fingers. No, he was really suffering with that injury. I think it was in Chamonix he picked it up, possibly Vila, I don't remember. It, uh, it troubled him for pretty much the rest of the European season. There we go, precision belaying. 
hopefully we'll be able to uh, grab a word with Sebastian. You can see that it was obviously a bit harder than he made it look because he certainly didn't look as if he was taxed at the time. See there, there's Hannah Schubert. It's nice 